so uh, we're here now at El Arish and uh, it looks like the Egyptians are making moves to get us uh, get us going pretty quickly here. The ship is docked in El Arish port, all the vehicles have offloaded and uh, in contact with the convoy members uh, back in Libya and um, they're just about to get on a plane in Benghazi. It's about an hour and a half flight, they'll be flying into El Arish airport and uh, there's three of us here. We're uh, the kidnap, kidnap victims that were taken to Greece against our will. We didn't have our passports. Uh, it took us some difficulty. Some of them flew back to the UK and Ireland to get passports and then get back out here. Myself, I stayed in Greece and managed to get a passport sent to me. Uh, with extra expense and some difficulty, we've managed to get back to, uh, to Egypt and uh, El Arish. We weren't able to make it back to Libya to get on that flight, which is one of the rules that the Libyans had. We were all supposed to get on that flight. It just was not possible for us. So we're not blacklisted. We're supposed to be able to go, but we were not able to get back to Libya. We hope to regroup with the convoy as they arrive at the airport today. We shall see. Okay, quickly. Well, uh, this, I'm Khalid and this is Yunus, ourselves. We were one of the victims that were on the Stravadis fort um, heading towards Greece. Like we said, um, we had difficulties in Greece. Going back to England was a bit of difficulty and whatnot, but now we're here back in Al Arish. As Ken said, we should have gone really to Libya, but it was out of our reach. We couldn't do that, and we're here now hoping to rejoin the convoy. Um, our names should, are on the list, but we don't know how difficult it will be. The Egyptians will, how difficult they'll make it for us to rejoin the convoy, and hopefully everything should be all right. So, you know, we're just looking to rejoin the convoy, make it to Gaza and deliver the aid and the money which we have, the final stage. We're, we've uh, got to Al Arish, we've got this far, it hasn't been easy at all, but uh, from uh, what we can see since we've uh, made it into Egypt, it's, it's, it's going to get harder, it's not going to be easy. Um, I mean, it's been, a, it's been a big struggle getting here. Uh, we've we've derouted so many times. We've uh, we've headed in in all sorts of directions, uh, but we're close to the border now. We're we're not far off. Uh, let's just hope for the best. Uh, we should be there soon. Uh, I think this is the last leg now, and um, it's not long to go. So again, just to make clear, the uh, we are not on the list. That the list of about 13 people who've been blacklisted by the Egyptians, uh, of course. Uh, extremely unfair. We're angry about it just like everybody else. But we're not even on that list. Um, we simply did not have the ability to get on that plane in Libya. So it shouldn't be a problem, but of course anything becomes a problem when you're trying to help the Palestinians. That's the whole point. This uh, very, very long road to Gaza continues.